What's up, Jagger with Styles Machinery, and today we're going to be talking about the pressure zone station. Behind me is the Homeag S380 Edge Bander. We're going to be looking at what the pressure zone does and how it helps us out. Now on the workpiece, we need to apply pressure after we've applied glue and the edge banding onto it, but it performs a couple additional functions as well. So let's take a look inside the machine at this pressure zone and what it does. Inside this machine I have four pressure rollers. The first one with the holes in it is my main pressure roller. Now this one is powered and it's the first one to come in contact with the board edge. Now on this main pressure roller I do have this air regulator, which means I can regulate the pressure in which this main pressure roller pushes against the board edge. This is very important because in some circumstances I may need to lower the air pressure when running thicker wooden strips so I don't break the wood strips themselves. Now this entire unit presses up against the board, applies pressure, but it also is responsible for cooling that board edge down and setting the glue up prior to getting into the trimming stations on down the line. So now that we understand how this pressure zone works and what it does, you may ask yourself, will I need to get in here and adjust the pressures constantly for different edge thicknesses? And the answer is no. If I look down here, I can see I have a servo motor on the bottom and that servo relates back to the controller screen as defined as edge thickness or my banding thickness. So if I'm running an edge banding that's let's say two millimeters thick, I enter that in at the screen and then that servo adjusts this pressure zone correctly to give me the proper adhesion of the edge banding onto the board. For more information, please visit stylesmachine.com. Thank you.